it's important now that we have governments starting to regulate these platforms. Online child luring reports have spiked exponentially in the last five years. Advocates say while parents play a critical role, government cannot continue to offload the responsibility of keeping kids safe online to parents alone. Not enough is being done to protect kids. Um, you know, from the moment that they're creating those accounts, to when they're having those direct messages with people that they don't know. There's just not enough barriers in place to keep them safe. Data from the Canadian Centre for Child Protection found reports of child luring from 2018 to 2022 jumped by 815%. Catherine Tabak, who manages the organization's reporting website, cybertip.ca, says they've had to double their personnel. When we shared this stat with our staff, um, they were shocked. Everybody knows it's been very busy, but I think actually putting a statistic behind it really sort of amplifies that. Child luring is when a person, usually an adult, solicits sexual images from minors online, potentially manipulating them into meeting in person where further abuse could take place. To back says for too long, the sole responsibility to keep kids safe online has been on parents. We've really relied on parents to be, um, you know, taking that step for supervision and intercepting these situations. And we just really need to move away from that. It is not reasonable to rely solely on parents um, to help address this issue. Marking Safe for Internet Day, the Winnipeg-based organization is amplifying calls for government intervention as many tech companies operate without age verification and allow unknown adults unlimited, unsupervised access to children. Although we're Canada's tip line for reporting these incidents, we hear from kids and families all around the world. The data from cybertip.ca is alarming. By the end of 2022, there were 2,013 reports of child luring received, compared to only 220 in 2018. Tabak says she wants to meet with Public Safety Minister Marco Macino to discuss child safety online and the formation of a dedicated federal portfolio to the issue to reverse this disturbing trend. I mean, we're just going to con continue failing kids. Uh, we're going to lose kids over this. We're already seeing so many of those situations arise. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.